What is going on YouTube? It is your man, Mr. Dominic Cruz. And I'm Ruby. And we're coming at you with another video. Yes, another one. Another one? Another one. Mm. So today's, today's video, we are going to basically going to do like a step series, okay? On um, basically steps to healing from an ex. Now, I get it. You're hurt. You feel that throbble, that wobble, that, that pain that's like in the nucleus of your heart. It feels like someone stabbed you there, right? And honestly, it's like someone twisted it and just really made it bad. And that is, of course, your ex. So in this series, we are going to help you by step by step on how to get through this whole thing. And today we're going to be talking about recognizing, okay? and basically recognizing everything, where you are, why this happened, and all this other stuff, okay? So, you know, Ruby, if you wanna chime in with me on this one, mm -hmm. like, in the first steps to, you know, healing from an ex, it's one of the first things to do is you're hurt, right? And then when you're hurt, you're basically like, you don't want to feel it. You try to do something to avoid it. And I want to tell you right now, that is not the way to handle the situation. To avoid and all that. Because the more you try to avoid, and I, 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 I've been a person to do this too, to avoid the pain is by a drink or, uh, I, I, well, I did before, but I don't do that anymore. That was two years ago. Um, or I will just literally, I mean, I did the right thing by doing this. I'll go talk to other girls. And then uh, just basically trying to avoid the situation when I should be just going through the pain. It's kind of like you, you know that saying, um, just sweep it under the rug? Yeah. Eventually you sweep enough stuff under the rug and you trip on it. It's gonna come back to you. <laughs> It doesn't go away just because you sweep it under the rug. It will always come back to you, but you need to understand that you're hurt and you need to say, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna vacuum go it up. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna vacuum it up. <laughs> exactly. So that means you're gonna suck it up. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, suck it up, right? The next thing is this, right? When you're recognizing this whole thing, understand you're recognizing the situation is, how to recognize this whole thing. You're lost. You're hurt, and now you're lost. You don't know what to do next. And you may be thinking about, I'm gonna go out and do this, I'm gonna go hang on my boys. You know what, I'm gonna say this, hanging on my friends was a little helpful, but it didn't help too much. You know, it didn't help too much because I realized I had to spend more time by myself and understand myself. I had to learn about myself. Ooh, you know, so it's lucky because Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> this might be because I'm a female, but to be honest, like for me, like hanging out with my girls was a trick. Mm -hmm. But you know why? I think I think it's because like females will like talk to each other. Yeah. And they're like, oh, I can't believe this and this, and they just like let it out, and then eventually they like won't feel that anymore because right. they they're able to vacuum it up. Exactly. You know, they, they dump the vacuum in the trash can. <laughs> you know, honestly, like... But, oh, go ahead. I'm like, but I think that, like, especially, like, as a man, I don't know if this is true, so you could say if it's true, but I don't think a lot of guys, like, like to talk about it, really. I think they, like, they're like, you heard me? Oh, I'll get a drink with you. You know, that's very true. That's true. No, guys don't like talking about it because some guys will say, oh, let's go... Let's go to the strip club. Let's go. Come on, just go sleep with someone else. You, you'll be fine in no time. I'll tell you this. It's a temporary fix, but you're always going to find yourself back in that same position. And you guys seen it in other videos that I've I, I've created. The guy said he would go sleep with another girl, but he still and he messages me. He says I still feel the same way about so and so. And I'm just saying, it's not going to resolve the issue. It'll feel good. I'll give you that. And, but at the same time, it's not going to resolve the situation because you're not, you're, you're avoiding of what's being taught to you. And just to clarify, you know, not all, not all your boys are going to be like that, but. Yeah, not all your boys. I would think probably more of them than less. Ooh, I think, 
to be honest, like I'm I'm like your confident friend. <laughs> and so some of my boys will come to me and they're like they're like, Hey, going through this thing, can I talk to you about it? And I'm like, Yeah, let's go, like let's let's get food. <laughs> you know, <laughs> my one favorite of, thing. One of the things that I did too is I was seeking out other people to make friends with. Oh, yeah, and that's, good. that's either by person or by via internet. The internet is can be a wonderful thing. Mm -hmm. And that's how I met one of my coaches that helped me out through the whole thing. And he helped me understand. Now the thing is like you're recognizing you have to understand that where you dope. are. Understand this position that you need right. that you're in, you need to get the hell out. And if someone someone like might do better understanding more by themselves mm -hmm. or they might do better like bouncing it off of someone, but you obviously I have to trust that person. Um, you have to see that person as like a legitimate source mm -hmm. who like knows where they're coming from, right? Like you don't want to go to your friend who's just gonna like drink themselves into to a stupor because that's the advice they're gonna give you. Right, and if somebody has the experience and stuff like that, obviously, you know, family could be one thing, but sometimes family might be the best solution to help you get through the whole thing. They'll tell you to let go and all that stuff, but they'll also try to avoid the conversation because they don't mm -hmm. like seeing you hurt. And yeah. One of the True. things my one of my aunts told me, she's like, he, I remember I was about to say, he's like, do you love her? I was like, yeah. Are you strong enough to let her go? I was just like, yes. <laughs> it was crazy. It was crazy. But it helped me understand from those two moments. It helped me understand to get to where I am right now. And it, well, at that moment. And here's the thing, right? Because I understood, now there's a reason to the next thing. It's like I had to understand the past was where uh, where I the past is what brought me to the position that I was in yeah so basically everything you've experienced that you know that you've learned about that you've done brought you to where you are today exactly. and if you keep on just riding off of that same exact thing you're not really gonna get any farther you're just gonna find yourself in the same place over and over again mm -hmm. but if you get new experiences, new perspectives, and things like that, then that's when you can move a little bit. So hopefully Ooh. that direction is forward because oh. you can move, you might move back. So that's why you just gotta really pay attention to your sources. Exactly, always be moving forward. Listen, if your boys ain't gonna help you, if your girls ain't gonna help you, go what? Go, go what? Go and do this. Go live life by yourself. Learn about yourself. Mm -hmm. I used to go to this place. San Diego is a beautiful place. And if I don't, if, like, I used to go to this place called Sunset Cliffs. I used to go rock climbing by myself. I did everything by myself. Sometimes my boy would come out with me, but I still did everything by myself. And that's why I'm happy with right now. I like being alone. Ooh, I like know? it. It's yeah. fun. Yeah. I do what I want. I go to Rome. I'm go I went to Rome that's by myself. Cool. <laughs> so, um, feel my female perspective again, like, what he just said, that's like the same thing that I really liked in my boyfriend when I met him. He just had so many cool experiences and he was just so confident in who he was by himself. Like when I first saw him, he didn't have a wingman with him. Like he wasn't always trying to like roll with someone. And I was like, who is this? Like, why doesn't this guy have like his own personality as a standalone? And I think when you do stuff by yourself, you develop your confidence in being Right. being who you are and just like that makes you attractive you know I'm just like oh who's that guy like do you want to talk to me and, and here's the thing that is how you build up the confidence you have to recognize where you are okay so recognize where you were is gonna get you to where you are at this point so recognize the situation okay so to recap in this segment in this video is recognizing your position right now so you're hurt good Feel it more. Your loss, good. Keep figuring it out because you're going to keep on figuring it out when you keep when you when, when you understand it. All right, yeah. when you understand that situation. Now, because you understand that situation and you start to understand yourself, you start to understand your values, you start to understand more and more and more about who you really are. Now you understand why the past is what brought you to the moment, mm -hmm. and because what you brought you to the moment, it brought you to watching this video. Yeah. So really, like. Everything that happens, you will respond to in some way. Yep. And that's going to lead to your experience, right? So, like, let's say um, Dom's gonna go to the park, no, and the park. So, <laughs> he's at the park right now. And then it rains. So, how are some ways you can react? I can react. There's a few ways I can react. I can react 
mad. Like, ah, I'm wet. Or I can react, this is really nice, I like this. <laughs> or I can react as... Good thing I brought an umbrella. A good thing I have something to protect me. Or I could just go to my car if I don't want to get wet. Yeah, so really, however you respond to the situation, that's going to that's gonna affect your experience, right? Like when you're mad, then your experience is going to be really poor. If you're mm -hmm. like, ooh, I can go to like, I don't know, Dave and Buster's. Exactly. I don't know. And Wherever here, you want to go. And here's but, the thing. Anyway. I'm going I'm I'm to leave you off with this, right? The confidence, right? This is right? recognizing that, you know, recognize... Where you are right now, this is an opportunity to build confidence, okay? I have the most confidence in the most damn world right now. I, 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 I think I'm the most confident man in the world. Put it that way. Why? Because I know who I am, I can get what I want, and I know where I'm going. So that's how you gotta carry yourself. So recognize. But that's pretty much our video right there. So if you guys find this information valuable, I want you to drop a like, drop a comment, drop a share. And of course, this is your man's, Mr. Dominic Cruz. And I'm Ruby. And we're gonna leave you off with this, all right? Are you recognizing enough? And what are you recognizing that's going to help you propel forward, okay? So I want you to think about that. Comment in the comment section. And of course, we'll catch you on the next one. Deuces.